With the 2022 season set to begin in Bahrain towards the end of next month, it goes without saying that Formula One fans are getting hyped for what's sure to be a championship of note. And with Lewis Hamilton now set to return, it sounds like things between Red Bull and Mercedes are just getting started. But what should fans know about the F1 headlines currently making the rounds? For all this and more, stay tuned. First of all, let's talk about the new threat that Hamilton will be facing this year. And as it turns out, he won't have to look far to learn more about the driver. You see, Hamilton will be joined at Mercedes by George Russell this time around, a 24-year-old Briton who made waves back in 2020 when he replaced a COVID-stricken Hamilton and would have won the race for Mercedes if it wasn't for some unfortunate pit lane mix-up. Suffice to say, this was by far one of the greatest driver debuts in the history of the sport and had many fans asking whether Hamilton was indeed the best driver on the grid. Having George Russell at his side is a far cry from what Hamilton would have been used to in recent years. His previous teammate, Valtteri Bottas, was somewhat of a sidekick to his superhero, and while while Mercedes often said that they considered both he and Hamilton to be on equal footing, team strategy and component choice said differently. Russell, on the other hand, won't want to be relegated to the sidekick position considering how his Formula One career is just beginning. Sure, he's already spent about three years on loan to the Williams team, but he now has access to what many consider to be the best car in the sport and will no doubt want to make a name for himself by shooting for the championship title. In other words, Hamilton shouldn't just be looking in the direction of Red Bull. The real threat might be a lot closer to home. But will Mercedes actually allow Russell to take a championship from Hamilton? This is a question that doesn't seem to have a simple answer, as we're not really sure what's going through Toto Wolff's head at the moment. The team president appears to have a pretty close relationship with Hamilton after all. In fact, both he and Hamilton refused to attend last year's Formula One ball, even though they were required to do so. Remember, many from that side of the camp believe that Hamilton was somewhat robbed of the championship through a questionable call made by Michael Massey, and this disrespectful gesture was used to show just how much the they disagreed with the FIA's decision at the end of the day. That being said, we're well aware that Lewis Hamilton is on the verge of retiring. Whether he would return this year is actually a question that many had been asking in the lead up to the season after all, so it would actually make sense for Mercedes to put the majority of their chips in on a new driver, like George Russell. He's young, hungry, and more definitely skilled enough to take on a man like Max Verstappen for more than a few years. But Hamilton's so incredibly close to attaining that record number of championship wins and allowing him one more may very well be the goodbye gift Mercedes wants to send his way before the Brit actually decides to retire. This all depends on how Russell warms up to the Mercedes at the beginning of the season, though. Another burning question is whether Max Verstappen has something to prove. He might be the current defending champion, but there's no doubt that his win is still steeped in a massive amount of controversy. In fact, a large portion of the Formula One fan base still believe that Hamilton should have won the championship at the end of the day. This isn't just a feeling from the community, though, with the Red Bull driver's maiden championship victory also being subject to a formal FIA investigation. This really is a shame for the Dutch driver, though, who raced his absolute heart out last season and would have easily won if it hadn't been for a collection of questionable calls made against him throughout the season. So, since there's somewhat of an asterisk next to his championship win at the moment, it goes without saying that Verstappen will have to show the world what he's got and prove that he can indeed win another without any controversy surrounding it. This time around, he'll have a number of other drivers to contend with, though. Remember, the airflow regulations of Formula 1 have been changed to allow cars to follow on at a closer distance without being inundated with bad effects. This has been said to put a large number of teams on equal footing as many try their hardest to come to terms with the changes. We also know that Russell's going to be working hard to contend for the championship as well. So Max Verstappen is in for a tough season. Something else that might count against the Dutchman is his collection of penalty points. Last season was a messy one between him and Lewis Hamilton, which resulted in dirty driving from both contenders. And as a result of this, Max has collected quite a few penalty points that have somewhat placed him on the back footing. Just two more driving offenses could actually push the Red Bull driver over the 12-point threshold. And for those of you who don't know, the penalty for this is a one-race ban. If the championship season is as close as last year, a one-race ban is more than enough to throw Verstappen out of contention for the win. And it goes without saying that Mercedes are going to do their best to get him into some other offense. It's bad news for Verstappen fans, as the young champion doesn't have the most amount of patience on the racetrack. And considering how the FIA have refused to explain or specify what they want from drivers this year, as far as overtaking is concerned, the fear of air stopping picking up another offense is real. That being said, the fact that George Russell might be ruffling some feathers in the Mercedes garage this year might actually count in Verstappen's favor. Russell might be another driver that the Dutchman has to contend with, but the same can be said for the relationship between Russell and Hamilton. So this might actually give Verstappen room to breathe at the end of the day if Russell actually performs well. Focus is also on Daniel Ricciardo this year, who may finally come into his own. For those of you who don't know, 
Daniel Ricardo took a massive risk by leaving Red Bull in search of greener pastures in McLaren. But after a truly awful year behind the wheel, which had him thinking of an early retirement, many have been wondering what's next for the peppy Australian. You see, he still has two years on his McLaren contract, so there's no doubt that he'll be racing for the team for the next couple of seasons. But whether he'll end up regretting this decision is another question entirely. After finding himself in troubled water for the majority of last year, his spirit was almost non-existent. Fans were constantly comparing him to his teammate Lando Norris, who after being placed in the same car, was outpacing Ricardo each and every race. Somewhere down the line, the Australian gained some confidence, though, and was able to take McLaren to their first win in nine years. Suffice to say, it feels like he is just starting to get a handle on the McLaren, allowing him to use his driving prowess to finally make a name for himself in the upcoming season. This is completely dependent on how the team reacts to the new regulations in play, though, and we'll have to pay close attention to see whether Ricardo will eventually regret this decision like he did last season. For his sake, we really do hope he finds himself in championship contention this time around. He deserves it. Last but not least, we have some burning questions behind the Ferrari team. And with both Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz Jr. still at the helm, fans of the team already know what to expect. Although the drivers couldn't exactly make an impact on the championship with teams like Red Bull and Mercedes leading the way, there's still no doubt that they had a rather close race against the McLarens. And now, the regulations have changed to improve the frequency of overtaking, we might be in for an even stronger contention between the two teams. But if history's anything to go by, the biggest regulation overhaul in 40 years could actually spell the end for Ferrari. It's no secret that the team struggles to adapt. Just look at what happened to them in 2009 when a change to the aerodynamics regulations caused them to drop from first to last. In other words, we'll have to see whether Ferrari have learned anything from the past. And there you have it. Everything you need to know before the anticipated 2022 season of Formula One begins. What do you think of Hamilton's chances this time around, though? And what's your opinion on all these regulation changes? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.